Now, <laughs> the news at five with Rick Thompson. Oh, hey, everybody. It is the news. I'm Rick Thompson. Oh, my gosh. It's sometime in January 2018. Holy crap. Let's talk about a bunch of news today. How about should marijuana be legal in Michigan? 57% of our state voters say yes, according to a new Local 4 Detroit News poll published just today. And uh, six point, uh, let's see, thirty six point thirty six point seven percent oppose the issue. Fifty six point six percent of voters support the issue. A lot seven percent of voters were undecided. Uh, the strongly oppose and strongly support is very interesting. Thirty seven point eight strongly support. Twenty nine strongly oppose. That's a much larger core group of people that are willing to say they'll vote yes under any conditions than those that would oppose. Here's another interesting statistic. Among strong Democratic people, they supported at 71.5% rate. Even strong GOP supporters support the proposal for legalization of marijuana in Michigan at 43.5%. Here's another one. This was really interesting. 47.5% of voters in the survey said they had tried marijuana, and of them... 73% said they would vote for legalization. That's a really telling statistic. Just like we mentioned at the beginning of the show, when you look at people that have been lied to by the government, they know you can never lie to them again. Oh, another Michigan story. Very few medical marijuana applications turned in so far for the MMFLA program. More than 600 people have started the process of getting a medical marijuana license through the state of Michigan, but only 20 have filed completed applications, including approval from local communities for the cannabis business, a little bit more than one month after the start of application submission. That's really low. The slow pace is the result of a number of factors, including continued confusion over state laws, city and towns slow to enact ordinances, lingering uncertainty over how stringent federal authorities will enforce laws that still consider cannabis an illegal drug. Andrew Brisbo, our friend, director of the State Bureau of Medical Marijuana, said it's definitely lower than we expected discussing the rate of application turn-in. In In addition to the 20 applications that have received municipal approval, 123 more people have turned in pre-qualification applications, allowing the state to begin background checks while entrepreneurs await approval from the town in which they want to locate. Speaking of a town in which you want to locate, apparently Windsor Township might be a good choice for you. Windsor Township, Michigan hosts Harvest Park. That is a 130-acre medical marijuana industrial park development in Eaton County, west of Lansing, Michigan, Eaton County. That would be Representative Senator Jones's territory. That announces Phase 2 is now available. Why Phase 2? Because Phase 1 sold the F out. Phase 1, which was announced in November of 2017, has already sold out all 10 lots on 63 acres. Now they've opened up an adjacent 67 acres for the next phase of the township development. All of those people buying that property before they get state authorization. What do they know that we don't? Now, Jeff Donahue, managing director of the Harvest Park Development, said we're thrilled at how quickly Harvest Park is developing. I bet you are. Harvest Park selected the Lansing Board of Water and Light to provide water and electricity. Oh, there you go. (laughs) Now we know why. Somebody gets paid. The Bureau of Water and Light is taking advantage of the development to expand its solar energy program as recommended by a citizen advisory committee that conducted its long-term integrated resource plan in 2016. Additional solar energy, which will be adjacent to the park, will support the southwest side of Borden Water and Light Service Territory, and the solar power capacity will complement existing infrastructure and will be online by 2020. See, the cannabis industry provides solutions all over the place. Now here's a final couple of stories about legalization. We talked earlier at the program beginning about Vermont legalizing through legislative process. Yay, Vermont! But how about some other 2018 prospects? Rhode Island for hack. Last year, lawmakers in Rhode Island debated a bill that would legalize cannabis. That's the third time in three years that the state has introduced a cannabis legalization bill. It died in committee, but supporters remain undeterred. In recent months, members of a state commission have visited with Colorado officials to learn how they implemented legal sales 
and they are on track to initiate another legalization bill. Of course, here in Michigan, our state's Committee to Regulate Marijuana Like Alcohol has submitted petition signatures, and we are waiting any day now to receive the positive news about that. How about New Jersey with the fat man? Republican Governor Chris Christie out of there. It seems legal pot is on its way in because Democratic Governor-elect Phil Murphy, who's a former Goldman Sachs executive, pledged to sign legislation into law that would allow for the possession and sale of recreational cannabis. The Democrats control the legislature in that state, and they could have a bill passed by early spring, which could wreck. Uh, reckon for them about $300 million in tax revenue every year. Also on the East Coast, Connecticut. Lawmakers in support of cannabis legalization have said that they don't want to lose tax dollars to Massachusetts, so they have four different bills to legalize and tax the sale of cannabis. Each of these bills from last year died in committee this year, but once again, these legalization bills have been vowed to be reintroduced. 2018, not such a sleeping year for cannabis legalization as many may have thought. Folks, that is the news. I'm Rick Thompson, and thank you so much for listening to the Jazz Cabbage Cafe. Hey. Good deal. I love the applause.